Article 48. On the petition of Megan Riley and 25 or more registered voters, shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $520,000 for construction of a sidewalk on Mace Road within the town's right of way for the safety of our residents. Background. Project reviewed by appropriate parties and estimate includes necessary elements required for construction, tree removal, etc. Majority vote required. Not recommended by the Board of Selectmen, 041. Not recommended by the Municipal Budget Committee, 062. A fiscal impact note from the Finance Department. The estimated 2019 tax impact on $520,000 is 15.5 cents per thousand dollars evaluation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 48? Moved by Mr. Bridal. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Wardell. Um, would you like to speak to Article 48? Yes, I would. Please state your name and your address for the record. I'm Megan Riley, and I'm on 14 Toby Street. Uh, so I submitted this article again from last year. We had an amazing response for this article uh, with 42% of voters uh, in support of construction in, in just its first year. And I'd like to see this approved this year. There were a lot of questions um, and discussions on feasibility. A lot of focus was on that last year. And as I put in this article, the project was evaluated. It can be done and it's within the town's right of way. Um, the sidewalk connects two major roads with existing sidewalks near the school, providing a much safer option for students and pedestrians. I see runners, I've seen dog walkers, I've seen people walking, and I've seen people on motorized wheelchairs going down the street on a daily basis. You see cars swerving sometimes, but not always, and you see a lot of people driving really fast and not paying attention. Um, I'll tell you as someone who runs on the road, walks on the road, I do it with and without my children, it can be absolutely terrifying. It is so dangerous. I've almost gotten hit multiple times, and I know um, the, the people that live nearby me, my friends and their families are also um, uncomfortable going down the street. So I, I know when I drive my kids to school, I see other children walking on the street with huge bags. They've got, you know, musical instruments. And I, I, I just, I can't, it, it's very hard to watch just seeing how um, distracted drivers are today. So I think it's, it, it's very clear that sidewalks are important to this town. And it's encouraging to see that there's an article to fund future projects. And there's certainly been discussions of a plan, uh, but we're not there yet. Um, and it's about our community and keeping us safe and evolving as a town. So I hope the community will support this article and keep the momentum going for future sidewalks in a safer Hampton. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Riley. Ms. Riley, just, I have a question for you. Uh, could you give us sort of the start and the finish of where this sidewalk would go? Yep, so the, the, the area that we evaluated would be from Mill Road um, down to High Street, so where Five Corners is with okay. the, um, the playground right there. Okay. So right. they have sidewalks connecting at both ends. Great. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 48? Hey there. Hi. Is this okay? Yeah. yeah. My name is Abby Marceau, and I'm at 14 Philbrook Terrace in Hampton. And I'm in support of Article 48. Um, let me tell you a quick story. In 1987, I entered kindergarten at Hampton, in Hampton um, over at Marston School with a little boy named Dan. And you guys probably remember this story. Um, Dan, during the course of our kindergarten year, um, was told that his sister was killed um, while she was exercising um, on High Street in Hampton, um, which triggered the uh, sidewalks that are there today. <clears throat> uh, obviously, um, it, it, it's very dangerous on, on Mace Road. Um, it was dangerous on High Street at the time. Um, so we really are just asking that you guys understand that it's not just kids and families using the sidewalk, it's everybody. Um, we should be encouraging people to get outside to walk and walk our streets. Um, we live in a safe town and um, we're fortunate for that, but we definitely need to step it up with uh, the sidewalk. So thanks so much. Thank you, Ms. Marcel. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Yes, ma'am. Hi, my name is Jen McIsaac. I live on 6 Janet Lane. This is my son, Matthew, for anybody here last year. I brought him as well. Um, I'm really hopeful that the sidewalk will get passed before he's able to uh, be in school himself. Um, just a couple things I wanted to highlight. I think I've seen that there's money in the capital improvement plan, but I see that it's not in there until 2023. 
Again, I think it's a dangerous road. I'm not willing to gamble or to bet for five years, and who knows what changes between now and then to see if that money even sticks. And then I would also say, if anybody's ever walked on the road, I very much agree with Megan that it's extremely dangerous, and I am incredibly um, anxious as you walk in two specific places along that road. One is as you turn the corner right by Ridgeview Terrace and where a little river dumps in. It's a hill, there's a corner. There's almost little chance that you see anybody coming at you or anybody sees you as a side uh, or as a pedestrian on the street. And that exact same scenario is um, what I see happening on Mace where Toby Street comes in. So I think there's probably other streets within the town that could use sidewalks as well, but I view Mace as just incredibly dangerous, how narrow it is. Again, it's a big cut through from going to Route 1 to be able to get onto High Street and skip some of the lights. Um, and it's really busy all year long. It's not just in the summer. I see cars flying back and forth in the middle of the winter, in the middle of the day. Um, and again, as a mother of three small kids, I think it's, I don't, I guess I would say it's not inexpensive, but I think it's absolutely worth the investment to keep people safe. Again, whether you have small children, you're out there walking your dog, you're taking a walk yourself, you're running, et cetera. So I'd really like to see Article 48 passed. Thank you. <laughs> Ms. Barnes. Uh, Regina Barnes, for, uh, 95 Presidential Circle. Uh, I want to let the public know that I was the abstention at both the uh, selectmen and the budget committee level on this Warren article, and the reason for that was because I didn't know what to do. Um, I respect our Public Works Department. They have a five-year, six-year sidewalk plan that makes sense, but at the same time, this is the second year. These same group of people have shown an interest and care very deeply about having a sidewalk on their road. If you drive down Mace Road, we have a great playground down the end of it that is scary for parents to get to. You know, they end up driving there when they could be walking or they could be riding their bicycle. I don't walk as much through the town as I used to, but I do ride my bicycle, and it's very scary. So when you have small children, it's even scarier. Cars go a lot faster now than they did 5, 10, 15 years ago. They don't pay attention. They're looking at their phone. I ride a motorcycle. I know this stuff. People don't pay attention when they're driving. It's something we have to learn to deal with. So while I respect town management and I respect our public works department, this is the second year these people have taken the time to petition this Warren article. So rather than just going over it and saying it's half a million dollars and it's not in the plan, I think maybe we need to either, if you're gonna vote no, I understand, but at the same time, we really need to like, this is one of the things that we really need to take into consideration. There's a lot of places in this town that need work that just are not getting it. And there's a lot of people here right now that usually are not here. And I'm very happy to see people that are younger and are getting involved, and this is something that's involving them. So. I just want you to consider that when you're in the ballot box on March 12th. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Barnes. Anyone else? Ms. Wolsey? Over there. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Um, if I'm reading this correctly, or what the discussion has been about, ladies, the uh, you're talking about taking down trees, and the only trees are on the sort of southwest side. Not, not the ones by the playground, but the cross from the play playground is where you'd put the sidewalk. Well, let me warn you, because sometimes things have unintended consequences. If you should get the money to have a sidewalk built along there, you're going to destroy some of your property values. You realize that, taking down all those trees. And the house at the bottom, the southernmost house, which is the farthest east house, will have the sidewalk right at their front doorstep. And people are going to stand, if you put your house up for sale, and people will stand there and say, my God, I don't want that little bitty lot. It's just a little crammed in lot. So that could potentially seriously affect the value of your homes when you are, uh, when and if you decide to put them up for sale. But I am absolutely opposed <coughs> to sidewalk by petition. So I think in fairness, uh, Ms. Woolsey, Article 48 talks about placing the sidewalk within the town's right of way. So it, it is town property. It wouldn't be impacting anyone's private property rights. This work is proposed to be done in the town's right of way. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 48? Yes, sir. Uh, 
John Riley, 14 Toby Street. Um, I, I understand everybody's concerned with the money. Um, obviously, it is a lot of money, but is there a price for safety that you can put on people? Um, like we said, it, it, with the outturn from the vote last year, it seemed like there was definitely a lot of interest from the town. Um, I've done a lot of research, and I've seen that sidewalks help um, improve pro property value. Um, I'm not sure if taking away trees would decrease property value. I don't know. I, I know I have seen uh, figures where sidewalks do help out um, the, the, the price of people's uh, you know, lots and everything because it does make the community knitter tighter, and I just that's what I've seen. So I'm not sure about taking away trees, if that would take away from someone's property value or not. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Riley. Anyone? Yes, ma'am. A quick follow-up. You don't see when you drive down the street or walk down the street where the town's right-of-way is. There, there are little signs or little lines saying, here's the town right-of-way. But there is a right-of-way there, could be 10 feet or more. And if you strip that, because the town right-of-way is now, it now has trees and other structures in it, if you strip that down, it's going to make those lots look and actually be smaller. And it could, it could seriously impact the value of your properties. But they won't be any smaller. They'll be the same size. There might be the perception that somebody's front yard is wider than it is. That's because, right. But DPW could come down around town and take down a tree in the town's right of way if it deemed it necessary. So I don't think it's fair to put that on the petitioner. Um, the proposal is to do work within the town right away, so my point was simply it's not adversely impacting any personal property right. So, anyone else? Ms. Riley, do you want to have another word? So, again, this is a, a similar discussion to last year. Um, this has been evaluated, and you are correct that, it, that that land is within the right of way. So, people want to be in Hampton. I know a lot of people that would really love to live in the town. They want to come and raise their children here. And I'd be really surprised if people um, would, would, would look poorly on having a sidewalk on a, a very busy street. And I'm not sure when the, the last time was that you walked on the street or have driven down that street, but you, I, I think you said that you lived just around the corner and you, I think you re recognize that it is a very busy street. So to try to place that you know, might bring house values down. I mean, Hampton's you said it yourself is continuing to develop and, and you know people obviously want to be here. So we want our we want our residents to be safe. I want my children to be safe and I don't want to hear about anyone else in Hampton getting getting hurt because of a, a sidewalk and someone not wanting a tree down. So right. I just hope you consider that. Thanks. Thank you, Ms. Riley. Um, seeing no one else on forty article forty eight, article forty eight will appear on the ballot as printed. 